everyone and welcome into my next Rise of Kingdoms video and unfortunately this is an update of the last video that I did which uh, to anyone who has watched the channel for the last I guess 5 hours or 6 hours they would know that I did a video but unfortunately for us um, that video didn't have any sound and the guy who actually told me about this, he is part of the enemy kingdom, which is 3208, so I really thank him, even though technically we're like enemies under the game, in real life he's a very respectful guy, and he's a really nice guy, even though he's like a lot more powerful than I am, so phew, damn though. But yeah, I really want to thank him, that's his name right now, this is Trevor from 3208, and this guy actually warned me, if you're gonna see the conversation, like, so she's Trevor, buddy. There we go. He told me that my my new video didn't have a sound, and I was looking at my old video, which was the 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 first KVK, the, like the first day of the KVK, which was like three hours and a half. So I was like, no man, the the voice is alright. But then I go and recheck, and I told him like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Unfortunately, you are right. So anyway, one thing led to another. But thank you, uh, for actually telling me, man. It's, I really appreciate it, like, if, if it wasn't for him, probably I wouldn't have paid attention to the video as much, and I, the video would have been there already. I deleted the video from my YouTube, and this is basically an update of whatever has happened. Now, we cannot turn back time to show you everything that happened into uh, the second video of the KVK, which were like, was like the fourth or the fifth day of the Zone 6 war, but uh, we can, though, <clears throat> just... I can basically tell you pretty much what happened, you know, like, we managed to take some territory back into the zone 5 right here, back from the 3299, but unfortunately, we hard struggled against 3208, and as scary as it is, 3208, these guys are really, really powerful, they actually managed to hold their own into a 1v2 against 3207, which is us, and 3201, which is our allies in here. They literally pushed us back all the way here, like this zone yesterday, 24 hours ago, this zone here was pink. Thankfully though, from 3194, which is our allies, they managed to push them back 1v1, it's really amazing how powerful these guys are. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep saying, like, these guys are the real MVP. Yesterday, I believe in the last video, I was mentioning how 3208 was so scary that I wasn't even sure if 3194 could, could like, hold them off. But not only 3194 managed to hold them off, they even pushed them back. That being said, though, these guys have actually infiltrated uh, into Zone 5, so unfortunately we are not safe from 3208 either so right now our zone 5 is technically really really endangered we really cannot go out there just so easily because we have 3208 and at the same time we have 32 uh, 3199 both hunting us now 3199 basically has what they've done they have built three forts into the zone 6 so they are taking advantage of the zone 6 in here and uh, they really aren't fighting that much into zone 5 anymore, that is why we managed to hold, take so much territory. Technically 3207, I don't know like in what shape we are, but I would say we're not in, in the best shape of... Uh, in the best shape possible. That being said though, I believe that we still have a lot of troops that we can spend, we are just waiting for the right moment, which is the King's Land, and that's it. Until then, we're probably just gonna chill for a bit, rebuild our forces, make sure everything is okay, and just fight for the king's land, I guess. But so far, into the level 6 zone, I don't know if we're gonna fight anymore. The leadership still hasn't made, like, at least they still haven't told us what we're gonna do next, but uh, I guess that, uh, in my opinion, this is it for the, for the level 6 zone in here. Now, this is like the basic what's been going on into the west zone. Now into the south zone, of course, it's the it's the 3205 and 3198 who basically dominate the zone. The east, the entire west side or like the, the left side, it's entirely owned by 3194 and 3204. Just a little bit, you know, like they're allies, so technically they're not fighting each other or anything, but. I would say it's 3194, like these guys were the ones who fought for this zone, this guy literally destroyed these two, 3205 and 3198 into a 1v2, while at the same time helping us against 3199, so 
3194 are literal MVPs of this KVK so far. They have done so amazing UL and the really thank you guys. Honestly, if it weren't for these people, I feel like this KVK would have been long gone, in my opinion. I'm not saying 3201 isn't powerful, I'm not saying 3207 isn't powerful, I'm saying these guys are on a league of their own. Now, I don't know what the difference is. Like, whenever the difference is the fact that these guys really do not fear losing troops or they're like old fighters, because we have 3204 as well, but these guys, I'll be honest, man, I don't want to like trash talk or anything, but honestly, I've not seen these guys do much. Like, every single moment that they push something, they always push, like, if the main fight is here, they push here against nothing, they basically just take some territory, and then when two or three enemy castle drops, they literally push back a whole kingdom. They did it, like, in so many places where they literally are being pushed back by 10 people or less. You know, the whole kingdom is being pushed back by 10 people. I don't know, like, personally... I find that scary, I don't know, like, I, I wouldn't rely much on 3204 right now, but I would definitely rely on 3194, these guys are really putting in the work, they're doing even better than we are, which is 3207. Now, at the end of the day, we decided that we are uh, going to build a force into this level 6 zone as well, even though we wanted to secure the level 5 zone against 3207, 3208, I'm sorry, and 3199, but... The enemy proved to be a lot more powerful than we expected, so I don't know how it's gonna go whenever we're gonna like try and stop them tomorrow, like push them back tomorrow, or whenever we're just gonna take a break and just regroup to, to make sure that um, everything is okay for the upcoming Kingsland, I guess. I, we'll still have to make a decision, but this is basically everything that's going on. 3205 is in a chill position, they taken everything they needed. So they they haven't really fought much besides with 3194, where 3194 basically pushed back both of them, like I said. At the same time, 3194 seems like they're getting pushed a little bit back in here. Of course, this is a moment where they are offline. Like, most of them are actually offline sleeping, so this is probably why they're being pushed. But we can see that 30, uh, 3198 is basically trying to push back 3194 a little bit and if we go in the center I'm pretty sure that 3208 is basically trying to do the same thing now that the enemy is off I'm pretty sure that if I go in here that's what we're gonna see probably like flags burning yeah there's 3201 and here is 3194 both <clears throat> um, and 3208 I'm sorry both trying to push But yeah, like this basically everything has been going on. Uh, I would say a lot of, most of the kingdoms have lost a lot of power. Um, I don't know, like 3207 and 3201 literally, uh, in my opinion, have lost a lot of power. I would say 3199 has lost a lot of power as well. I don't know how much they can hold their own on a battlefield anymore, but... We have yet to see, like, we have a couple of days of rest, so I'm taking that a lot of people will probably build their troops and everything. So when it's time to fight for, like, the King's Land, even though we will not be, like, at 100%, personally, I've lost over um, 400k in power. Let me just see, I, I believe I've lost about 240k in troops, if I'm right. I've lost, no, 210k, I've lost 210k in troops, so of course I've lost a lot of power, at least for me, like, you, you people have to realize that I'm coming from a newer kingdom, which is 3212, therefore we had less time to, um, to prepare for the KVK2, like, we just finished KVK1, and we just migrated into a kingdom which was basically almost, the, almost just ready to start the KVK2, so... We really didn't have time to prepare for war or anything. So technically I'm really in a bad spot in here, but I'm trying to regrow myself back. I'm trying to be ready for the upcoming level 7 uh, pass war. I don't know like how much ready I will be. I lost a lot of troops while trying to uh, build and defend flags into major battles. I managed to get like, I believe it was like 3.2. 5 or 3.6 million kill, per, uh, kill points 
uh, you can basically see this like a video before this so I'm not gonna go all the way all the way like trying to explain this but yeah I would say like, this is basically what has been going on and this is the day 4 or 5th into the level 6 zone that we are fighting it's definitely not been easy but I guess let's just enjoy a calm evening where we just hope that 32 or uh, it won't push much by the time that 3194 wakes up and at the same time let's just get ready the force for the zone 6 let's just hope that we can protect the zone let's just hope that nobody actually makes it in here otherwise we'll be in deep trouble and yeah that's it once we take it i guess that we will just teleport into this zone it should be like a safe zone for us if we manage to defend it of course, uh, you gotta keep an eye open. If you're gonna stay in here, you gotta keep an eye open. So it's not all uh, sunshine and roses, but you know, it's level 6 past. Like, y you definitely need to go in here. I believe there's like level 40, uh, uh, I mean, like level 4 gems. Let's see if I can locate one. But you should have like level 4 gems with 40,000. With 40 gems per, per piece in here, if I'm not wrong. Which personally for me that's like a huge, 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 huge bonus. Even if it, if that's not that, the gems you definitely have like the higher level force and the higher level barbarians that you will need to take if you want to be strong into this KVK. So uh, you should definitely take advantage of this zone. Thankfully, 3194 and 3204 have managed to like secure it. So even though we're like in a bad shape overall, I would say that we still are. Like, th this game is far from over, okay? If we kill level 36 barb, I believe that we get 10 honor points, if I'm right. Let's see. Yep, I get 10 honor points per barb. Meanwhile, if I'm doing the, the low level barbs, I'm getting 5, so I definitely need to go and kill these. Like, I definitely need to go into zone 6 and kill higher level uh, barbs or higher level barb force if I want to get that 80k. We do not have that many days left, only 25 des days left into the war, so let's just make sure that we put everything into it and we manage to claim as many rewards as we can. Now this is basically the update for everything and yeah that's it. Um, if, if you want to stick around I will do some several crisis like maybe one or two of them before I go to sleep but there's really not much else I wonder. Okay let's just go f for free I guess. After being in battle for six, so basically, if you fight for more than ten minutes, we are we are done for. I'm just gonna try and do some of these because I don't know how much time I will have tomorrow. But yeah, that's basically it. Probably by tomorrow, if everything is right, I will be teleporting to the zone six that we have secured and try to maybe I don't know, hold on, I guess. But at the same time, I'm kind of worried to stay there because we do not really have the upper hand as much as we did into KVK1 where basically the enemy was locked out and there was like no way for them to basically attack us, you know. It's not like that anymore. KVK2 is more ferocious. Uh, so many gates can be taken. It's not like before where you were basically half secure. You're not half secure anymore unless it's like zone 4 right now. And I believe that even zone 4 at a certain point gets like unsecure, so... There's there's probably a chance that if, if this thing doesn't go right, we will be losing big time into rewards and into everything. So I really hope that we manage to do better into this KVK. Come on, just a little bit more. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ashran, yeah. <clears throat> but that being said, uh, the rest of the stuff is definitely going well for me, in the sense that... I don't know, but 
I would say it's going well for me in the sense that my farms are going well. Uh, even though like this KVK I only have one active farm that is collecting for me besides my main. My main is trying to collect gems right now, not anymore trying to collect resources. In KVK1 I really didn't collect as many gems as I would have wanted to. N neither am I collecting as much as I want to do KVK2, but I'm definitely collecting a lot more because I have my farm supporting me. But it's only one farm, so... What I'm basically trying to do right now is... Uh, I'm trying to build like 5 farms besides my main city, so my 5 farms will basically serve as a bank for me. I will have unlimited resources the whole time, so I can just focus on random stuff when you know, my main, and I'll actually focus on getting resources or else I'm done for. So this is like the whole idea of my farms right now. But it's gonna take me a while for me to get them all ready. I got one farm that is in an older kingdom, so once we reach Season of Conquest, I will definitely have three farms with me. But before that, even in KVK3, I probably will only have one farm, which is kinda sucks, but still, uh, my farm is collecting good. Like, I actually collecting from five marches, I'm collecting five times per day on my farm, at if not six. So honestly, I would say that I'm doing good, you know. I'm definitely preparing good for KVK season. I'm I'm saving all the stars, so I'm kind of weak at the moment, but I will be a lot stronger later. Where's this guy going? Okay. Okay, man, this is taking a lot of time. Where are you even going? Man? How many of these waves are there, though? It's starting to be a pain. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever, we managed to kill this one. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Confirm. I don't know what I'm gonna buy with these rewards, but we're gonna see that later. Meanwhile, let's just go for another one. Match. While that happens, let me basically just show you everyone what's going on with my farms. Just help my team a little bit. Now if you go in here and let you see my accounts, um, I'm pretty sure I did this yesterday, that's why I'm doing it today as well, but this is basically all the accounts that I have. This is what I have in 3207 at the moment, It's this is my main account and this is my main farm, and this is the other accounts that I have. This is the f an account that I had, like the first ever account that I had in Rise of Kingdoms, but I abandoned this kingdom to actually start in 3212 with uh, this, this account, but now I'm trying to... I'm thinking to myself, why can I just not use this one as a farm? Like it, it's it's basically half ready compared to the compared to the rest of these cities. At the same time, I have two accounts who are literally 40k power, so I have a lot of power, a lot of stuff to do on them. But once they are ready, I will. I'm basically having like in season of conquest, I should have three accounts, no four accounts, four farms, and once one of my farms also reaches season of conquest as a server i will have five accounts so it's gonna take me about six months for me to have five farms but i will definitely have them oh okay now now we gotta divide what am i what am i no Okay, come on guys, you basically need to know how this one works. It's really not that difficult. Okay. Pfft. 
please kill them oh my gosh they really didn't manage to kill them did they kill them already dude honestly just is it so difficult like just kill this thing already that's it there we go now we can fight these do this honestly just just learn the damn game man it's not that difficult all you gotta do is stay okay Okay, like I was saying, come on, let's just heal a little bit and keep going. This really shouldn't be as difficult as we are trying to make it. Did we just lose one? Yeah, we have. We are literally only three people right now, and one of them just became fire. So I think he got. He needs to watch out. Can we like kill with three people? Probably. It's it's definitely not over, but. Survive the trap if you can, okay. Oh man. No 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 Okay. Holy hell, how many times will you do this? What is this? Oof. Is this really that difficult? <laughs> Come on guys, deal some damage please. It's still possible for us to win this in my opinion. We are strong enough. I should watch out from this guy. Okay, this is the third and this is the fourth, so we start from here. Oh man, I was too... Um, wait, am I not the tank? <sighs> Holy... So I'm the tank, but at the same time, I am actually fire, so that is kind of scary. I guess I just gotta stay here. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 are you insane? Like, look at this guy. Ruthless, come on, buddy. Are you joking right now? What is it with this dude? Okay, I literally have to go all the way around right now because this guy doesn't know how to play the game. Come on, like, all you had to do, man, all you had to do is just stay on the other side. Like, you see me being fired, so just stay the hell away. It's. Not that difficult. Okay, now I gotta stand near, close to this guy who doesn't know how to play the game. <laughs> oh man. Bring it on. Can I, can I feel like we can kill even before we need to bring this one on. Like, yeah, I feel like that's what we're gonna do. Like, F this. We can 100% kill. 6% what is it like just kill already Come on, just kill we got this 
I, I really hope you're not wrong. This thing is gonna blow and I really hope that we can manage to kill it. No, it's not on cooldown. Don't tell me it's on cooldown, man. I know it's that's not the case. Only 2%, like this thing is almost over. Like, let's just end this. Almost there, 3.5, come on. There we go. Good job, guys. Oh man, so long. Took so long for us to kill that. It's a pain. Shop. How much do I have? I have two. I never understood what was like the best thing to buy. Like, I don't really give a damn about the emojis. Easter gate, not really care too much about it. The avatar frame, not really either. Keira sculpture. I don't know how Keira is as a, as a commander. They say it's good, so. But at the same time, it's like another way for me to get Keira, so should I just buy it from here? I don't know. What, 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 what? Oh, did I just buy this? What an idiot. I just wasted it. I'm gonna buy a teleport. Um, like, I don't really care too much about resources, but I could definitely get me some speed ups. Just take me whatever you can, man. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm gonna take. Like, speed ups and keys are the most important things to get right now. Materials. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did a mistake in here. I should have definitely gone for the materials. I didn't see the materials. I thought they were just. I thought only that they were like uh, uncommon materials. I didn't know that they were like the rare ones as well. Yeah, definitely should pay attention to, to it next time. Let's just... Should I do like one more? I'm gonna do one more. And then be done with it. But yeah, basically... That's basically what's going on with my accounts and everything. I'm trying to set up all of these. As you can see, I have one at 3152. I will create another one. The reason why 3152 is because... This kingdom is going to go into SOC uh, quite a lot faster than 3207 or any of the your kingdoms. So whenever you create a farm, I didn't know it, but I know now that the whole, the both like, both your farms and your main need to be at the same stage. So if your main is like in stage two, your farm needs to be in stage two. And if your farm, if your main is in K, uh, Season of Conquest, your farm needs to also be in Season of Conquest for you to be able to um, I don't really know how this one works you also need to be in the Season of Conquest for this one to um, to work so how does this thing work like do you like attack this one during day and the other one during night what's, what's like the the big reasoning behind it Okay, this one, I will not lie, this one, I really don't know how this thing works. So I guess I'm trying to do my best, but I'm not really sure as to what exactly I should do. Probably I should pull this thing away, though. Like, that's definitely one thing that I should do. Okay, we appear to be doing a good job, did they just switch, okay so now what, okay they switched, now what, sun guard, I don't really know what the sun guard is but okay.
Let me just heal a little bit while they keep killing. Oh, that that really hurts. Okay, let's just save some points for my W. I should be in. I have like six. I need to have eight. So I'm just gonna save some points for my W. It's, it should heal me quite a bit. I have six now. No, I have seven now. I should have eight. Real quick. Eight. Come to me, W. Come to me. There we go. This thing is literal <laughs> amazing. What's with his damage though? Come on guys, I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> These guys are almost all of them are almost dead. Anyway, like I was saying, Season of Conquest, I should be really powerful. I should have five functional farms, and by that time, I'll probably add like three more, so. We, we will look into it. We will definitely look into it. It's, it's too soon for me to call it a day. In global cooldown, cannot use any skills, okay. Six percent, like it's almost dead. Almost there. We are almost there, guys. Come on. Two percent. Let's go. Almost dead. You're almost dead. Yeah, I feel like we, we definitely, we got this. What? Did we just fail at the last minute? Or? Please don't tell me we failed at the last minute. No way. We literally failed at the last minute, can you believe that? Not the last minute, literally the last second. What the hell was that? Troops under general with sun power take 50 less damage from cavalry. Oh my gosh. Back to matching. Please give me someone who's powerful and actually can do some damage. Okay. I'd say I'm the only tank, so we have enough DPS, we have some healing, that's good enough, and the guy with the damage just left. Of course he left. Come on, man. I really want to get this over with. Good. Finally. Hopefully we manage to win it this time.
Okay, let's just take you far, far apart, man. Oh, man. This is really bad. Oh, man, we have some crazy DPS, though. Compared to the last time, I can see some crazy DPS in here. I'm seeing some crazy, crazy, crazy DPS right now. I feel like we can 100% kill. Come on, buddy, follow me. Follow me. Why is he not following me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. How does this thing work exactly? Like, how do you know which one you should kill of the two? Is this this Alex? Like, I believe this guy was with me in the last game as well. So hopefully this time we managed to win it. We should be a lot closer than the last time, so... Okay, I have like six, so once I get seven, I should like fully heal. I just hope that this time, whatever happened last time, won't happen again. That kind of felt weird. Crazy damage though. Come on guys, we are almost there. We are almost there. 5%. 4%. Yeah, this is what happened last time as well, man. And we failed like at the very last minute, so... Please do not give up. 2k, 1k. Good job. Good, good job. Okay, I guess we will do the rest of levels yesterday. We will do the rest of levels yesterday. Uh, tomorrow, what am I even saying? This is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. And simply, I could get some of these. Okay. I got me some of those. So apparently I need to reach 30 million in power for me to have better rewards. But it's also going to get more difficult. I, I do realize that much. Anyway, guys, thank you all for stopping by with me. I appreciate it a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Laters.